<sighs> okay. One project almost done. Put these side covers on, close the hood, double check that oil, get it out of here. And then put my visors on, my spotlights, put my tire on, and I can put my tools away. And that's all for in here. And then I gotta go. I have a leak around a window air conditioner that I put in a while ago. I don't understand how it could leak. I'll show you what I've got. And then I gotta put, uh, unroll some fencing and cut a piece and put on that gate, that new gate down yonder. So let me get this, let me get this together, get it out of here, get this together, uh, and then go start my other stuff. Okay, next project. This is the axle for my front wheel. And I was just thinking to myself that sometimes my day is filled with just fixing stupid stuff that I did. And this is one of them. Sometimes when I know I'm getting close to the end of my, my energy or my back willing to continue, I end up rushing things and screwing things up, and this is one of them. I couldn't get this axle to go through my forks, my tire, the outer fork, the speed sensor, and then into the, I mean, just, so I ended up hitting it with a hammer, and I mushroomed this out. This is very, very soft metal. I don't know what it is. For an axle, you wouldn't think it would be that soft. So uh, I couldn't get my uh, covers on use fancy covers and now I can I'm gonna do a little more file I had to file it basically and uh, I'm gonna rotate this and file it a little more and uh, never do that again if I do have to give it a knock to get it to go in I'll put a piece of two by four here stupid sometimes half my day is spent fixing stupid stuff that I did okay I got my axle fixed now I'm gonna check the tire pressure off the bike since it's so hard to do, because everything's in the way. First of all, you have to have it below the fender and above the forks. So there's a very small area where you have to have the valve stem in order to even check it. And then you gotta have a very short, small chuck to get it over the top of that, because there's no room. So I'm gonna check it off. I put 38 in my front, and uh, I'm gonna check it to make sure it's got 38. Years years ago, <clears throat> the nicest looking truck I ever had was a <clears throat> a 2000 W900 Kenworth with a the biggest sleeper they made. I think it was 82 or 83 inch bunk. Had upper and lower bunk. Uh, actually. The bottom bunk was a couch that folded out into a bunk and had refrigerator and microwave and all the amenities of home. Well, anyway, uh, that was a beautiful truck and I had a huge chrome drop visor, not chrome, but polished stainless, a uh, big Texas bumper with chicken lights all across the bottom, chicken lights across the side, chicken lights on my breathers. Big chrome stacks, straight pipes. Although I did have a muffler underneath the cab because, uh, you know, we drove team, my wife and I, and there's no way we could live with that kind of noise. Anyway, one of the things I did that people seemed to think set my truck apart was I used to paint the letters on my tires a complimentary color, which was lavender because my truck was purple. Now I have a purple bike. And that's what I'm using, <clears throat> paint pens. And, uh, you know, you gotta touch them up every once in a while. Back in the day when I was doing my big truck tires, you had to stay away from curbs because uh, the curb would sure rub your uh, paint off the littering. All right, let me uh, flip this over, do the other side. As a matter of fact, I might do a separate video because uh, I looked for paint lettering and uh, on YouTube, and I could only find a couple, and they 
really didn't come out that good. So uh, I am going to do a separate video on that and just uh, show you where I got them and how I do it. Okay, I'm going to paint the letters on my tires. I used to do this on my 18-wheeler. I had a purple Kenworth, and I used to paint the Bridgestone and uh, the letters on my tires. I painted them lavender because the lettering on my truck was lavender, the company that I was leased to. Uh, you know, I had it made, and they were lavender. My truck number was lavender, and it just went well with purple. So uh, this is my motorcycle tire. I just had a new tire put on. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and paint these letters. The American and up here, uh, the Dunlop. So the first thing you wanna make sure your tire's clean. You don't wanna paint over dirt or grease or oil and uh, just wash them, that's all. So uh, here's the paint pens that I use. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and you can buy any color you like. And just click on that link it'll take you to amazon and uh these people you know they got a rainbow of colors you can choose from but this sticks this is what i used to use on my kenworth and i'll show you how i do this just a little bit oh uh i'll show you how these work first you got to shake it up it's got bearings in it and then when it's brand new you gotta press it down a whole bunch to get that paint to come out so let's see if I can do this without screwing it up. I'll do this with looking through this. Yeah. And then you can tell as it gets dry, all you need to do is just press it once and some more paint will come out. All right, I'll do this and I'll show you what I got. We're getting there. You just gotta be patient, keep your hands steady, and uh, take your time doing it. Because if you color out of the lines, it's hard to get off. There is a way, and uh, what I do is I take a razor blade and I just scrape the surface of the rubber. Uh, that, that usually works. Plus, or you could take a Q-tip with some acetone on it. Yeah, I got a purple bike. Yeah, yeah, I love purple, yeah. Yeah, the purple's very nice. Wapner, Wapner comes on at four. Okay, go ahead and hate me. I love purple. These were black, I took the old ones off, painted these lower fairings purple. Why? Because I love purple. Okay, this bike's done. No, well, actually, no, I gotta put the uh, the little fancy covers on here on, on the other side. Oh yeah, and then I've got uh, these chrome visors. They're on everything else except the spotlights. I bought some and uh, I bought them through Amazon and they were Chinese junk. So I sent them back and I just had to break down and buy the, the Harley ones because they're the only ones that are made well. Alrighty. That's it for now. All right, got my little visors on. Now we're all, we look all the same in the front. Got my little purple veteran on the tires. <sighs> tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I go to a Patriot Guard thing. Let me grab a ladder here. And check for wasp nest before I go to moving anything. No wasp nest. Okay. Okay, got it. Now we go set the house, drink a dew, and then we go around the back of the house. I've had water rain leaking in around my air conditioner. So, we're gonna cock it till the damn thing's tight. Thank you. And the cat thanks you for the cat food too. I'll put these away for my wife's season. I got a lot done today. Got the lawnmower back together, running. Got my motorcycle back together and running. Got a 
got a new flag put up. I'm in the process of cutting a huge limb down. Well, several that fell out of Bibb's tree. I'll show you. Yeah, I've already cut these. There's a uh, about four times that amount. This is be this will be my fourth load out of here, but this will be my last one here. So let me get this cleaned up, and then I'm gonna go roll up some wire fence and put it on that gate down yonder. Oh yeah, I got the uh, air conditioner cocked. I didn't I didn't show you that. I didn't show you that, but uh, got that recocked, and uh, there will be no more leaking. All right, let me get this picked up. Well, here's the thing. I just don't have enough back left in me today. My pain meds are starting to wear off, so. I think I'll do this Sunday. Sunday, I'm gonna mow Bev's yard a couple hours, and then uh, I'll do this. And I got two two gates, you know, the one I, the brand new one down, way down there. And then this gate behind me here, open right now uh, it has some hog wire on it but uh, it's not big enough it's not small enough wire to keep you know animals from crawling through it I mean uh, deer can't get through it which I don't really care deer coming in the yard they don't bother us not anymore I mean they you know you can't have a vegetable garden around deer that's for sure anyway uh, I got one other thing I got a bunch of empty gas cans I'm gonna go fill up and that's it for my day it's 1 30 I got a, a lot more done than I thought I would. Plus, my motorcycle is a major, major thing. I'm really glad I got that all done and put back together. I got to tell you, though, that Harley dealer in Bossier City scratched the ever-loving hell out of my brand-new powder-coated rim. I'm really disappointed that they would, they would do that terrible uh, job. You know, it, you, don't, you, you can do this without scratching rims if you do it carefully, but somebody absolutely didn't care what they were doing and uh you know just like the packages that come up missing and uh people who write you novel length emails and call you a blasphemer in the center sometimes you just gotta let crap go and uh the scratches on my rim are just one of them things i'm not gonna pursue and the thing is if i were to bring it up to the shop foreman uh, I'm sure he would do something about it, like pay for repowder coating, but then I'm without a bike again. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to let it go. So whoever they got putting tires on there, you absolutely suck. And uh, you did this to a guy on Social Security who can't afford another. The reason I got this rim is because I can't afford a Harley rim. So I, I kind of went another route to get a a rim on there anyway <laughs> and that's what i told uh the guy who does the service write-ups he was saying well you know you could have got this tire here and i said yeah i got it for like 70 bucks less i called you and got a price on a tire and you were 75 dollars higher than what i paid for it on amazon <laughs> so uh and he said a couple other things about you know uh why i was I took the tire off to bring to them the rim. I took the whole thing off. And I finally had to tell the guy, look, man, I'm on Social Security, you know? I mean, it's all I can do to put gas in my motorcycle and keep it insured. I don't have the money that I used to have when I used to come here and just bike home and let you do all the work. I don't have that kind of money anymore. I'm on Social Security. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm poor, and I have to live poor. And uh, 
yeah, he didn't say anything after that. So, the guy scratched the crap out of my rim, and uh, I'm not going to do anything about it. <sighs> Alrighty, that's the end of my day. I'm fixing to go load up my gas cans, go fill them up, and uh, tomorrow I got a Patriot Guard thing. And Sunday I'll mow Bev's yard, get this fence up, and be, I mean, the fence on the gate. I'm not putting any more fence up till we clear a whole lot more. Way down yonder. Let's see. Can I? Well, I got to clear a whole bunch of brush back about 10 foot away from the fence line. And uh, otherwise, it grows up in the fence and pulls the fence down. Okay. Have a good Saturday, y'all. Well, I may have waited too long to get my gas cans filled up. You know, we've heard that there's. This is Friday. <coughs> Thursday, there was some nationwide actually <coughs> excuse me some worldwide problems with the internet and this morning friday i read that uh peripheral things are having pharmacies hospitals are uh, postponing elective surgery because of uh, problems with the internet well i just went to get gas and uh, none of their card readers work so they've shut down the pumps so you can't get gas, which is exactly why I thought I better go get some gas. <laughs> so I waited a little too long. Should have, should have gone and got it yesterday. And I got a bunch of empty cans. So Brad, you done wrong, Mr. Prepper. <laughs> a learning lesson. Alrighty, I'm going back to the house, and I'm glad I stopped when I did because uh, my back. You know, I can feel it when it when it had all it's going to take. I got about. 15 minutes to finish up and get back to the house. So here I am. I'm going back to the house.